The SEVO is a special initiative in German Sonderinitiative Eine Welt ohne Hunger, so One World Without Hunger. And uh, it aims uh, on a special in initiative to improve the duration of farming in uh, Africa and India. And one element is to use also the knowledge and uh, the, the, the agriculture society inside Germany. And so our role in this uh, project is to use uh, the experience from the organized farming society in Germany. So that's why we have partnerships with our German organized society and with organized farmers in Africa and India. My name is Janet Maro. I'm the Director of Sustainable Agriculture Tanzania. We are a non-government organization based in Morogoro. We work with farmers, about 1,600 farmers in Morogoro that we visit on a weekly basis and they get training and extension support from the organization on agroecology. My expectations in this workshop are to learn and see from the German farmer organizations. I see that they're very well organized and it's a very strong uh, movement and it's a lot of learning for me. So when I go back home, I'm able to really build up SAT and strengthen the farmers we work with in the network so that they, we can have a better opportunity to uh, represent farmers with the government but also to have things that farmers can do for themselves for their own well-being and success. My name is Sandeep Kamath. I am the secretary of the Biodynamic Association of India which is the, the grouping of the biodynamic movement in India. Well the first expectation is a networking. I get to meet uh, like-minded people from around the world and we work together in our same goal in, in the agriculture sector and also to invite some people to come over for the Organic World Congress, this networking will help. The second thing is to learn from here because you have a very good structure and very good technology and we hope that we can incorporate some of that in our practices back in India. The best outcome will be the new knowledge and experiences I'm getting that I can bring back home. What is special about this study trip is that it's bringing the different farm associations, especially those in Africa, and we are networking, we are synergizing, and we are looking at the whole services a farmer can receive from a farm association. And we have liked that, right from the first important work of advocacy to other services a farm. And this trip has shown us around all the different kinds of services and work and a farmer belonging to an association or cooperative can have. So it has been very good and special for us because it's an insight for us who are beginning to have the farmer associations in place. We are getting actually like an inside view, you know, with AHA knowing the people, we are really inside the farmer organization, we are seeing how their journey is, what are their goals, how they were created, how they came about in the state, so we've got a little bit of history, we've got a little bit of working and it's been really incredible that we are so inside and we see this working of these organizations and also the people have been very open to our questions, we've asked many questions and they've really answered all, we've not had one unanswered question until now. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised because my expectations were not so high but uh, after seeing these two days I'm really blown away. Uh, we have a very high level of work professionalism and the focus is just tremendous and I think this is a way f definitely for my country and for the rest of the agricultural farmer associations in the world. Et 
India and Africa, that is our uh, most important partner in the world here for us in this ministry, in my work, and you, the farmer organizations and the women there, uh, you are our partner to do our work together in the next uh, few years. If the ministry also gives such an audience to the organized agriculture, it shows also politicians from other countries that that's not only about politics but also about organized agriculture and to listen to the voice of farmers. And there was one very important sentence, next to a lot of important sentences, but the one important sentence was, we have to listen to the farmers. And that's what we enabled. And so we are very thankful that the minister himself attended our meeting. What we have learned here in the last one week is really a holistic way of serving the farmer's interests. Whether it be in his training, whether it be in his finance or his marketing or his purchases. So we would like also to implement something which is a holistic approach to help the farmers of India. At the end of the workshop week I have very many impressions due to all this exciting experience that we've had in Münsterland, visiting all the farmer associations and cooperatives just seeing the experience and learning from them how they started, the challenges they experienced in the process, and that they never gave up, and now they are very big and successful institutions, for me is a very big impression and lesson. AHA is trying to create impression sharing, experience sharing, uh, by showing us what is happening here in Germany, especially the world they educate, and what we can pick from it, not just top bottom, but bottom up approach.